Hey everybody, I'm Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to install the previous version of Raspberry Pi OS, uh, the previous version to the Bullseye Edition. A lot of people have had problems with the Bullseye version of uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, there are problems with screen resolution and with the camera module and a few other things. So if you're having problems with uh, Raspberry Pi OS, you can uh, install the older version of uh, Raspberry Pi OS, which is uh, Buster. Buster is the version before Bullseye. Uh, when you do this, make sure you either use like a new SD card to uh, save the data to or to, to save the image to or uh, back up your other image if you have any data on there. If you don't have any data and you just want to wipe it clean, you don't have to worry. But always back up your data to make sure uh, first. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have downloaded the Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, which is under uh, raspberrypi.com software. And uh, you can download any version you need. I downloaded the Windows version. I'm not going to go through downloading it. Basically, you download it and you install uh, the uh, imager as you normally would. So once you have the imager installed, you're going to go to this directory. And I'll put these links in the uh, description of the video below. Uh, and so right here in this particular directory, we have the the previous version that we're looking for. We're looking for the uh, May 7, uh, 2021 version of uh, Buster right here, and it's in a zip file. So we're going to download that zip file. And once you download that zip file right here, all you have to do is extract it. I'm going to extract it into the same folder here. And then we'll have the image file right here, the IMG file. And this is the image file that we need to load this particular version of Raspberry Pi OS. So at that point, we're going to uh, start up the Raspberry Pi imager, which we have right here. And we're going to choose our OS. Now, normally, when we would install this, we would probably install... Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit right up here and it would download the latest image but we don't want that we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go use custom Im image which is the bottom selection of all the selections here then we're gonna to navigate to the folder where we uh, downloaded and unzipped the uh, file that we need so uh, this is the downloads folder right here uh, this is the compressed version, and we're going to go here to where we uh, uncompressed it. And we're going to select this folder right here, or this image right here. And we're going to open it. So now for operating system, it will give you the name of the file that we just selected. So then you're going to go to uh, choose the storage. And uh, it will either show this as an SD card or if you have a uh, USB adapter, which I do, it shows it as a, a a generic mass storage USB device right here. So then all I have to do is select this. And uh, the next thing you may want to do is you may want to, to hold down Control Shift X, which will bring up this special menu right here. And this special menu will allow you to uh, set a few things uh, when the OS is set up. So for example, you may want to uh, click on here to enable uh, SSH if you don't want to hook up a monitor and a keyboard. You're going to type your password right there uh, when you do that, whatever you want the password to be. Uh, you can also configure your Wi-Fi here. So you would uh, configure your Wi-Fi uh, with uh, whatever you want on the Wi-Fi. So uh, you can just put my Wi-Fi. That would be whatever your access point name was. And then you put whatever your password is right down here.
You can also set your time zone if if you want to, and uh, your your keyboard layout and that and and such. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to New York because uh, I'm on the East Coast. Uh, and then you can uh, just leave these as default if you want. You can also play a sound when it finishes if you want, and just save that those settings right there. And then all you need to do is click right. And it will take um, maybe five, ten minutes or whatever to uh, write the image to your uh, SD card. And then once it's done, it will tell you it's done and you can tell it to eject the SD card. And then you can put that SD card in your Raspberry Pi and boot it from it. And you've got uh, the Buster edition of Raspberry Pi OS instead of the Bullseye edition. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.